All right, guys, back with the last part to the crocheting part of the mask. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one. This is gonna be row 11. This is the last row of the mask. And we are going to half double crochet. Um, let's do the counting again, because like I said, I don't know the numbers. I don't remember the counting. So this is the middle right here. One, two, three. Right here. I don't even know. Eh, hold on a second. I have to figure this out. Yeah, right here is the middle. Okay, as far as I see. One, two, three. All right, so we're going to do three. So this is where I'd have to start with my decrease. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet until here, decrease in these two, then do half double crochets in these, and then decrease one more time, and then continue to the, to the rest. And then we're done with that part. All right, so we're going to. I have to do that again. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna half double crochet. I'm gonna half double crochet ten times. You guys are gonna do that or um, do ten with me if you want to. If you didn't want to count, but that's how I do it because, like I said, I'm not good at counting. I don't remember numbers, and I do not like to write things down because I do not follow them very well on paper. Five, six, all right, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now we're going to decrease in the next two stitches. So we're going to do yarn over in, grab that yarn, three loops, go into the next stitch, grab that yarn, four loops, go in, grab that yarn and pull it through the four loops. All right, and then we're gonna do two, three half double crochets in the next three stitches. And then we're gonna decrease again, okay? And Yarn over, go through the stitch, grab that yarn, three loops, go through the next stitch, grab that yarn, four loops, and go through the four loops. Okay, and then we're gonna continue half double crocheting until the end, all right? But when we get to the end, we don't cut the yarn off. We have to still make a chain so we can make the loops for the ears, okay? We're gonna do this one and then the last the very very last stitch. It's very hard to see it. All right. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to do a chain of 20. Okay, now this is for an average size face. This is I um this is how I made it. I I know that it's I'm not good with numbers, I'm not good with counting the numbers, but um, it is 20 um, chains that we do um, for the size to go around the ears. Because that's how I tested it out on my own face. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a chain of 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so now we have 20, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to this side. All right, so normally, I don't like to go into this part because it's just holding up one. I go into the, into the second one, and I go through it, grab that yarn, and then I pull it through to the, hole to make a like a slip knot and then now I chain one and cut off all right and now because I don't like weaving I just like to get it done and over with I usually will weave both of these through a few times And 
was a little bit difficult for some reason. I don't know why, but it was. Now I'm going to weave it a couple more times. Okay, and then I always want to make sure that the weaving ends on the inside because when I cover it up with the fabric, at least you don't see that part. But I do cut this part. Um, I just don't cut it right away. And now we're going to do the next side. All right, so we're going to do a slip knot. All right, and now we're going to grab this mask and we're going to put it through the loop and we're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and we're going to pull it through that and then we're going to chain 20 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. And now we're going to put it through this again. And we're going to grab that yarn. And pull it through. And then we're going to chain one and then cut this off to pull it and knot it. All right, and then we're gonna weave it. The last thing we wanna do is show off that weave. <laughs> I'm not a crocheting. All right, now we're gonna do that. And we also have to weave this one because this one also has a small little one right here. And, all right. So now see this mask is now mostly made. All right. Um, let's cut off this part. We'll cut off these parts. Always try to make sure you don't cut the actual yarn. It's something I totally would do one day. I'm surprised I haven't yet. Actually, I have done it once, but not with the mask. <laughs> All right, so these masks are now mostly done. Now, um, see, as you can tell, it is now ready for fabric to go on it. And I will do that in the next part. All right, I'll see you guys in there.